What is brainwashing? How does it work? Who uses it? Is it a stronger tool? Or are you being brainwashed? There are plenty of such questions we are unaware of. And these are those questions we never ask ourselves. But we see it, feel it and ultimately live with it. Today, we from The Theory Show are here to talk about how brainwashing is being used everywhere. And this episode, we are going to focus mainly on how brainwashing is being used in terrorism. So without further waiting, let's dig in. What is brainwashing? Let's understand what brainwashing is. Brainwashing is a concept that human behavior and mind can be changed, altered and controlled with certain psychological tests. And it's all about reducing the subject's capability and ability to think critically and independently, which will eventually allow the controller to introduce a new identity idea to the subject's mind, changing his or her ability of thinking, reasoning, and overall a complete personality of the individual. In psychology, brainwashing is also termed as mind control, menticide, re-education, reformation, and there are many terms, etc. Brainwashing is used everywhere. You name it and it's being used there. And let's not have a pre-notion that brainwashing is always used for negative deed. It's indeed reverse as well. Sometimes brainwashing is used to bring out positive change in one's personality. So how does brainwashing work? Well, let's understand this in a flowchart. And remember, we are focusing on how brainwashing is being used for negative deed and terrorism. And remember, a brainwashing requires the subject's complete dependence on the influencer from his social habit, eating habit, living habit, etc. Everything should be completely dependent on the influencer. So there are three major categories in brainwashing. Number one is breaking down the self, which has further four categories. Number one, assault on identity. This is a systematic attack on the target's identity, also called as identity or ego. The agent strike out everything the target think he see is. This goes for weeks and target starts losing his solid belief and is completely exhausted. Next is guilt. When the identity crisis kicks in and the target is breaking down, the agent simultaneously creates the sense of guilt in his target mind by pointing at everything he does is wrong from his eating habit, sleeping habit and living habit. He catches hold of any sin or wrong deed he see has ever done and keeps puncturing it. And now this is followed by self-betrayal. The agent continuously forces the target by physical or mental threat to agree with him that he see is wrong and bad and forces him to disown his friends, families, peers, etc. who all are wrong according to him. Next comes the breaking point. Who am I? Where am I? What am I supposed to do? With all the identity crisis and belief that he see has betrayed himself and everyone, every thought he has ever believed in, the target goes through a nervous breakdown. At this point, the target has no clear understanding about who he see is and what is happening to him, her. And at this point, the agent sets up a temptation to convert to another self, a new belief to come out of the misery. And now starts possibility of salvation. This is further divided into four stages. Number one is leniency. I can help you. A stage when crisis had kicked so much that there is complete loss of identity, the agent offers a helping hand and some kindness like offering him something the target loves and telling him about all he could have achieved. And at this stage of crisis, a small deed of kindness seems so large to target that now he completely falls for it. Next is compulsion to confession. You can be yourself. For the first time in the process of brainwashing, the target faces a contrast between guilt and pain of identity assault and relief of leniency. And target feels the desire to reciprocate the kindness by offering it back to the target. Next come channeling of guilt. This is why you are in pain. After this long suffering, the target has lost the sense of why he sees in the pain and guilt. The target is not sure what wrong he see has done. And now the target is blank slate. Now the agent makes him realize on the fact that his association with the older belief is the cause of pain and the new belief system offered is the possible escape. Next is realizing the guilt. It's not me. 
it's the thought and belief which has led me to this scenario with this the target has completed his complete psychological rejection and is ready to accept a new identity then comes the third and final stage rebuilding the self which is further divided into two stages of which the first one is progress and harmony if you want you can choose good at this stage all the abuse stops and the agent only offers all the possible changes to correct all the wrong deeds the target is left with no choice and he she chooses now the belief and thinks the new identity is safe and secure and is nothing like old one which caused all pains till now and then comes the final confession and rebirth i choose good and from here there is a birth of new identity and is often referred as rebirth by some brainwashed victims with all these steps the agent finally achieves his motto and there is a rebirth of a new identity new personality of the subject now the question is is it a stronger tool or is it a strongest tool well by now you know the answer the terrorist who dies in the name of incarnation are yes they are completely brainwashed now let's come back who uses the tool well you know the answer and please write down in the comment section below and do not forget those terrorism creating groups so now most important question are you being brainwashed well if you are ever influenced by anything or by saying of anyone yes my dear friend you are being brainwashed or you have been brainwashed and trust me there's nothing wrong in this you need not to worry about this this is just a basic human weakness and weakness of one is a tool for other and this is the main tool for advertising advertising uses the mainly the concept of brainwashing so now you have your answer that who uses this tool so that's all for the today's episode remember to bring you such facts and information i have to do a lot of research and it's your support which keeps me going so if you like this episode do not forget to give us a big thumbs up and remember and also if you are new here and like to be updated and informed do not forget to subscribe us and hit the little bell icon so that you can keep you informed and updated hope to see you in the next episode till then take care goodbye see you